Grand Rising, my friends. Hey there. Let's see how it goes. Hey there. Good to see you to the most beautiful subscribers in the Milky Way and all of the close surrounding galaxies. And if you're new here, welcome. Gracie, I was trying to say hi, but she's very, very skittish. So I'm gonna let her go. She's such a pretty, pretty baby though. Look at the tail. All right, okay, okay, here. Where you wanna go, where you wanna go, where you wanna go? She was meowing at me, but then she doesn't like the light, so it is what it is. Bitcoin took a bit of a fall, but it is has recovered from its lows of close to 56 in the 56,000 range, now up to $58,198. Ethereum dipped a little bit below 4000 is back up to $4,292. Binance is recovering. Every a lot of coins are recovering in the market that were down on the week. You see, we still are down almost ten percent for Bitcoin, eight and a half for Ethereum, or nine and a half for Bitcoin. We'll be splitting hairs. Cardano had dropped a lot. It was starting to make a move, but then came down. Cardano had been, Cardano is gonna pump hard at some point. Don't get it twisted. Everybody wanna act all tough and, and, and laugh and joke. But when Cardano move, it's going to move real hard and fast for a lot of people. Crypto.com, Crypto you saw bought the name and rights to the arena in Los Angeles. And Avalanche has been on the tear as well, which works for the people who have coin staked on the some of the protocols on Avalanche, such as Wonderland, Wonderland money or with time and Abracadabra and Snowbank and Snow Dog and this some billion forks now of uh the own coin. How far down is that? We'll just see. Yeah. yeah, we've been way off into that. Mutable X I saw was pumping. All right, today it went up with 30, okay, 34% is down, around 4% in the past hour, but it was up 35%. Saw Immutable X was pumping hard earlier. I have to see if there was something specific that was mentioned or it was just the nature of the beast. Hey, look, you know, trying to get some airdrops and you hopefully your coins will be in here one day and make a little bit of money as well. Stock market. Took a bit of a hit. The Dow and the S&P were down, but NASDAQ was up close to a half a percent. Anything, Tesla was, uh, wow, 4%, but it was up over uh, 1,100 earlier. You never know with these because that dropped a lot. Meta platforms up 2%, just changing their name. It, it, it kind of, everyone kind of forgot what happened. Ethereum continues to burn. Getting close to a million Ethereum that has been burnt forever, slowing down the pace. Here, what about that positivity? And that positivity being there's someone who has touched you in your life in a way that has made you feel special and important and has caused growth in you and your character, and your structure. Why don't you write something nice about them down in the comment section and forward them this video and say, hey, look what I wrote about you down. That would be on the internet forever. With that, we will look ahead and see so many scams. You know you're in the midst of a bull market when there's scams. When the scammers go away, it's a bear market. <laughs> this, rule number one. That'd be a bit of a joke, but tongue in cheek. Email scams are catching crypto investors off guard and still in millions. A recent wave of email scams is catching crypto investors off guard and still in millions of dollars in cryptocurrency. And it's not only email scams. That is, this is just an article I was looking at, but 
um, every type of thing. Websites people go to. That one I just uh, mentioned earlier for um, on Avalanche Network, the protocol, Wonderland Money. I think it's Wonderland Money, maybe Wonderland Finance. Look, make sure you double and triple check all that stuff. But somebody misspelled Wonderland slightly, but and it's a but it's a spoof website. So you, it's in, you can't impossible. Well, I'm just trying to think of how a way to put it that, that's clear. It's impossible. I don't even know if impossible is right, but it may be right to police all of this. To to oh well, Google can't Google know that they're doing that and not stop that. They're trying, but people are always going to be one step ahead because that's how human ingenuity works. So just be very careful. Make sure you everything you're doing, you double and triple check, and I will. Definitely put out some, and you know, I always try to talk a lot about being safe and using operational security, which is make sure you know 100% you know the sites you're going to. Don't send anything to any wallet. Um, you're not 100, you didn't double and triple check. Um, over, uh, never let anybody see your private keys ever, no matter what. Don't some, some, you know, some of these phishing sites will say. <laughs> Oh, hey, your MetaMask is saying, and it'll look like your MetaMask is telling you this. It'll pop up just like MetaMask. Oh, your MetaMask is saying they need to authenticate, uh, authenticate your wallet. Please give us your um, seed phrase, blah, 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 blah. Don't do it. You hear me? Don't, never, ever. You see that? Automatically delete, 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 cluck, cluck, shut down, shut down. You almost want to, don't hammer your computer, but shut everything down. And wait for a while and bring your thing on slowly, you know. Don't don't do it. Shoot, I was thinking like, hey, yeah, may as well just throw that computer out and <laughs> everyone can't do that and don't do that. Or let's <laughs> go get another one and just uh, open up your seed phrase from there. A brand new uh, a brand new system, but you know that's not a possibility. So, but just shut. Don't don't ever. You your seed phrase for any reason to anybody, ever. That's rule number one. But sometimes don't even connect to some sites if you don't know hundred percent what it is that you haven't, you know, used like we showed yes um, one of the one of the other videos. Uh, uh, create a test wallet if you're gonna do something like that. But anyway, Friday morning it appeared that one such email scam was behind the theft of some $60 million in Ethereum from a dog-themed crypto project during its token sale. One of the persons behind the project shared a screenshot of an email they received containing an attachment. The email looked like it was from a prominent crypto investor, but it wasn't their real email address. It contained a PDF file that was presented as an investment deck, which may have contained malware. This malware may have managed to access the crypto wallets, controlling the funds before sending them to another address. So, and it's just going to a lot more details, but it's a lot of these what they call phishing attacks. Hey, hey, it's such a simple... That's rule. Also, rule number. I don't click on any email. You see something like, "Oh, it's Apple." Your somebody's trying to get into your account, or it's Microsoft, or is is Amazon? Nope. I'll I'll delete that email. Go to the website and see you know if any any problems anywhere. But never click on anything like that. Never click on any text messages. Please. Stop chasing after fantasies. Don't click on these. Hey, you can do. Uh, uh, if you're in Discord, oh, the, the spam. I literally first thing I do is I join a, a, a server and I cut off direct messages to me from anybody in that server, and I cut off all notifications and anything. I mean, you can still see everything pop up, but in terms of popping up on my screen, that, psst, get out of here with that. Never be the case. Uh, so. Be careful out there. There are a lot of attacks. They say even these people who these emails, the document may appear to be a PDF file by having PDF dot PDF at the end of the file name, but it may actually be a very different type of file. So it, it, it's not like it's not like it's not meant to outsmart very smart people. You know, you don't have to be dumb or stupid to fall for it. It's the opposite, quite honestly. You know, 
very smart people are not doing. I mean, very dumb people are not doing this stuff. <laughs> you know, so you have to you have to be very. You have to have a lot of creativity to, you know. And and sometimes, like I said, social engineering, it, it, it's, it's similarity. It's, it's the um, plan to what's to be expected. And so that's, you know, it's, it's you know, almost sometimes impossible in ways. But you, you try to have as many... Re- and they, I believe in here they talked about how they had their funds in a in a wallet that made it easier for it to happen. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And so that's not, you know, what you want to do. And so having it in a, a cold storage attached to your MetaMask or um, cold storage, period, makes it much harder for people because, you know, somebody asks if a cold storage wallet, pen run, you know. You got to be like, well, for real? I got to go to the safe deposit box to get that? That's a different story, you know. So, well, let's talk about how I always butcher their name. Look, here, there's not, none of this is financial advice, especially what I'm talked about now. Relationship advice or advice about um, medical matters or anything that exists under the sun throughout Throughout perpetuity, throughout throughout the entirety of the universe, in perpetuity, <laughs> I was telling somebody about some stuff that's in contracts where you just be like, "How could y'all plan for this?" Like now, it's like, you know, in the nineties, the whole thing with uh, Quentin Tarantino and uh, Miramax. Now that you're supposed to foresee that we can make NFTs, and you know, who has the rights to be able to make NFTs for unreleased scenes and uncut scenes? Different discussion. Andreas Horowitz leads investment and privacy startup in integrating with Bitcoin. So these individuals, which include Chelsea Manning, who used to be a United States Army intelligence analyst and was jailed for releasing a lot of classified documents years ago, works for NIM, this company that's uh, based in Switzerland. And they have a lot of financing from Silicon Valley. Uh, well, Talking about from um, Andres's Howitz, um, Digital Currency Group, a lot of a lot of uh, Hubia, Hub, Hub, Hubi, Hubi Ventures, Binance. Yeah, I saw the Binance and Polychain. So, so they are mixing using a blockchain to create a internet based in privacy. Some. A, I'm trying to understand this. A mixed internet, mixed network, or mixed network nodes were rewarded with tokens to shuffle internet traffic. So my thought, this company will be out at some point, and they're trying to make an encrypted internet. And you see here, talking about rewarded with tokens to shuffle internet traffic. Get in on whatever it may take that it is that either is producing those tokens or being rewarded in those tokens. And some of it's going to be these nodes they're talking about. If indeed nodes can inject dummy packets, so they're not they're they're trying to create what they call a network level privacy that can defeat even nation state level mass surveillance, unlike VPNs or the Tor network. But they're not competing with Tor. And they're still going to say, "Hey, still launching a Tor browser," but for Bitcoin layer two solutions, I think we would be a better fit. So. Keep a keep an eye on this. They're getting a lot of money, and they're going to launch. And when they do launch, they're going to have a coin, and that coin is probably going to be a bit of an airdrop as well. Okay, so there, last week the team rolled out a wallet for no uh, no miners. Huh? All right, hey, you can uh, build uh, build a node now. I have no clue what any of this means. <laughs> I mean, so what? But it would take me some time, probably at least a week to do this, and I may, but. As pre-built binaries, we should work on Ubuntu 20.04. So, uh, run a node, incentives, talk about your token structure here. We'll go 
gonna play around here, man. We're gonna learn how to do this, son. All right, I'm not gonna keep you all I'm sorry, I'm zoning out with this. <laughs> but hey, um, this is probably gonna do well. So for those way more technical, you may wanna look at this and those who are, are learning and try to figure out, there may be some, um, I'm gonna look to see if there's any tutorials to help me figure this out. New variants of Chinese stealth fighters break cover. Two new variants of Chinese stealth fighters have broken cover in the past three days. This is weeks old because I've been working on stuff. Including China's next carrier-based fighter hinted at during a recent air show. Photos and videos taken outside the Chengdu aircraft factory in his namesake city on Tuesday showed a two-seat J-20 stealth fighter. I believe this variant. Wait. That's you, she's stealthy carrier born. I think that's the um, two C, but not 100%. Hinted during a recent air show, photos also show that they're confirming persistent rumors such as a variant was being developed by the company. The photos and video posted on Weibo and other social media portals distinctly show the aircraft's tandem cockpit as it taxied towards the runway for takeoff. It is not clear which role the backseater would play, although a logical explanation would be that the rear seat would be occupied by a weapon systems officer. I forgot how the acronym that go. Wasco? 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 I, I looked it up. I like that. Um, they have a, um, a shorthand for that that they call the weapon systems officer. I know we do. But anyway, they think that their weapon systems officer for their stealth air, air, aircraft may be able to, you know, be, may be needed to control their loyal wingman program, which would be like the drones that will fly. We'll show you a, a bit of it in the next story. The drones that will fly along with each um, manned air type like this, because it will be, you know, manned and also um, controlled by other things, manned aircraft. And also, they have a carrier-based uh, aircraft. So China's stepping up. This is what this is about. China's stepping up their ability to meet us on the theater of conflict. But granted, as we discussed here, they have not been in conflict for a very long time. And it is questionable what will happen when that occurs. I mean, you know, no one's going to, who wants to be the one that challenged them? No one. But at the same time, you, you're not going to just... Be able to walk in, everybody think just supposed to bow down to you when you ain't, you know, get your nose bloody a little bit. They also have uh, these AWACS, is that what we call these aircraft? 100%. The, um, you know, we have these. These are the, the aircraft that are able to um, kind of coordinate all of the all of your and also keep an eye on a big radar system system um, on the aircraft and, and, and probably most of the surface vessels in the engagement as well and who knows even about submarines for the United States I don't know about China's how well they would be for us but those are our planes. Now, the Navy just released its vision for its future FAXX next generation strike fighter. So this is what I talk about, like a loyal wingman program. These are air to air released drones, unmanned fighter vehicles that can shoot missiles themselves. Probably have guns on them, too. So you have two of those and you have uh, electronic weapons vehicle, uh, unmanned drone, unmanned companion, fly, it's a billion different names. Unmanned combat vehicles, UCAVs. But anyway, so electronic uh, weapons, one that's able to do electronic warfare while you have your armed, two armed vehicles ones, and a command and control one that can take some of the control for these off of the main pilot. So this would probably be our weapon systems, consider our weapon systems officer uh, compared to the Chinese version. And then having um, our loyal wingman. Uh, 
So the United States has provided new details about its vision for a future FAXX next generation strike fighter to replace the FA-18 E and F Super Hornet in the 2030s, as well as new art depicting a notional design. Meaning this is not exactly how it's going to look with the canards and couldn't quite tell if this is a wingless form. They thinking that it may be similar to the design of the YF-23, which was the the Black Widow was kind of an aircraft design at the same time. Was it by, I think the F-22 Raptors, Lockheed Martin, the Y-23 was, was it Boeing? I have to double check it, but I hate saying stuff and not having it right there. Northrop Grumman, my bag, NOC is their stock ticker, and they're trading, and they have a design that a lot of people think is very similar, sorry, to what will be seen in the Navy's next generation air fighter, possibly even in the Air Forces, but we're not exactly sure. I think Lockheed Martin said they had a big design deal on that, and they just may have taking a design that works so something to keep an eye on what will be the next fighter to want to hear northrop's uh yf-23 stealth fighter similar in broad strokes not saying that that will be who will be the one who will get the contract to develop the next navy plane but they're looking to make a better generally a better fighter than the hornet faster longer range uh, longer range uh, program for the future and also having the ability to have that you know incorporate that like I said this constellation of systems a bunch of things moving at once in terms of drones and connecting to satellites and other planes and ground units and, and, and drones that other ground units are using. It's going to be a, a mesh of systems that we've talked about before, using hypersonic missiles that can fly faster than the planes to get there. <laughs> so greater distance from the objects. It's, it's going to be, um, you know, we have to stay one step ahead of our of our enemies at all times. And that, at the end of the day, is always going to be the the mantra and, and, and the key to how to predict where it is going next is what well, we're going to be thinking we need to be one step ahead. They're going to be trying to play catch up and get ahead of us. So what do you do here? It talks about like the the man vehicle itself would be the quarterback shows two air to air drones are where air to air missiles where one with electronic warfare package, another with command and control configuration. So the command and control drone is likely understood as one fitted with an advanced communication gateway capable of linking together stealthy aircraft as the FAXX is expected to be and non-stealth ones, as well as various other nodes, including those on the ground and at sea. So it's going to be awesome. They also have tanker drones that's going to be flying out, and all of these are going to be flown by these algorithms. The... I mean, we talked about Google Pathways the other day, the algorithms that will be pushing this. And I guess this, our uh, electronic warfare little buddy will be carrying this, which sounds scary, Nemesis, the netted emulation of multi-element signature against integrated sensors. That sounds very Nemesis. Sounds very scary. Code idea behind Nemesis is to network together electronic warfare capabilities, including both manned and unmanned platforms, including swarms. We talk about the swarms, the drone swarms, ships and submarines. A key focus of the project is to be able to use that combined capacity to create phantom fleets of aircraft and ships that appear to various enemy sensors located over great areas at once. Huh. So we're going to be able to create like uh, Dr. Strange, like uh, the illusions on their sensors all around them. So that is the future of where we're going and where we're trying to get. I know you have a wonderful day. I love you. You love you. 
God loves us, and that's all that matters.